Hello, this is Jennifer Wilson with SimpleScrapper.com. I tweeted this photo today uh, about some new page protectors that I had ordered from Amazon.com that hold 20 2 by 2 images on a page. Now these are page protectors that are actually designed for holding uh, coins for coin collectors. But I discovered that they would be perfect for Instagram photos. And so I've got a lot of questions about how I'm actually printing my Instagram photos, and that's what this video is all about. The easiest way I've found to download Instagram photos is through ink361.com, also known as Instagram. When I go here, I'm able to click on an individual Instagram photo and download it to my computer. Here's an example. I'm going to click this photo to enlarge it and go to that photos record page in Ink 361. I'm going to right click the photo and select save image as. I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop called Instagram. And save the photo as Instagram2.jpg. I find using a layered Photoshop template file one of the easiest ways to resize your Instagram photos for printing and for printing many at a time. Uh, here I have a template that will allow me to print 12 Instagram photos and you can find this in the free members area of simplescrapper.com. What I'm going to do is select the first box that I'd like to have an Instagram photo in and these are 2 inch by 2 inch spaces. I'm going to go to File, Place, and uh, select the photo that I want to use. I'm going to press Enter to commit the photo to the page. You can see that the photo is overlapping just one of these boxes here. I'm going to move it over to the area, and then use. I'm holding down the Alt or the Option button on a Mac, and resizing, scaling down um, to just about the size of the box there. And so what I like to do, pressing enter to commit, I like to zoom in, go look at the photo, get it just about close, and then I'm going to press uh, control or command on a Mac, G, and this is in Photoshop Elements um, here, to uh, clip this photo to the size below. If you want to press Alt or Option again, you can scale it, but you can see now the photo is kind of inside that box. And you can uh, get it just about perfect. So you would repeat this step to fill in all 12 boxes on the page. Here I have all 12 photos clipped to my template. Uh, one of the reasons I like to use this method is because I don't like to bother with a lot of different open files. Uh, you could create a brand new canvas at 2x2 two two, um, for every single photo, resize them, and then drag them onto this larger canvas in order to print your photos. But I find that to be a little more cumbersome and um, not as easy. So one more thing I want to remind you of is if you choose not to use a template like this, I like to do two different things when I'm printing these. Um, this is an 8x10 template because my photo printer only prints in 4x6, 5x7, and 8x10. I go to the Sam's Club here in town. And every printer is going to be a little bit different in terms of how much of the edge of your page they're going to cut off. Um, so I like to just be a little bit conservative and ensure that there's not going to be any issues with my images being cut off. Now. When I'm cropping my photos, I find that I'm not very good sometimes. And I would rather have to do a little trimming on the edge of a photo to get rid of some uh, white canvas from my photo rather than messing up and miscropping two photos that are too aligned, that are uh, adjacent to one another. So that's why I leave uh, about a half inch space between um, each photo on my canvas. Finally, you're going to want to save this file for printing. I'm going to go to File, Save As, select JPEG from the drop-down menu, and change the title of 
my image if I like. I'm just going to call it 12 Instagrams and select save. Now this menu is going to pop up to select the quality. Um, I don't have a problem with the file size. I'm going to go ahead and select the maximum quality. Um, it's a 3.4 megabyte file. It's not too large. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it that way. You select OK and your image is saved for uploading to your favorite um, outside the home printing service or for printing on 8x10 paper um, on your own printer.